go. Welcome to South Charlotte Sports Report live chat with some of the top middle school basketball players in the greater Charlotte area. All these young basketball players are finalists for the Charlotte Basketball Awards, and we look forward to getting to know them tonight. Uh, let's check in and see how everybody's doing. Nicholas, how are you tonight? I'm doing good. How about you? Good. And how do you? where do you play basketball at this year? Uh, Hill Middle School. All right. Langston, buddy, how are you doing? Uh, your middle school is? Uh, Ridge Road, Ridge Road Middle School. And, sir, where are you, where are you, uh, tell us about where you play basketball at. Uh, I play basketball at Charlotte. And, Sincere, I know where you play, but tell everyone. Corhala. And, Jordan, you're uh, not the only person from your school. What school do you go to? Lydon. Teammates with uh, Sir down there. And, uh, Bishop, what school do you go to? Carmel Middle School. And Jasim, you are down in South Carolina, correct? Yes, sir. At? Westminster Catawba Christian School. That's right. I'd like to hear about your middle school seasons this year and how you did, how your team did. Uh, Nicholas, tell me about uh, how you guys did. Uh, we did pretty good. We came first in the conference. You did. You had an excellent season, didn't you? Yes, sir. What made you all so successful? Uh, it was the way that we moved the ball and how we could go up and down the court better than other teams. Langston, how about your squad's basketball season and your and your season? I mean, we did pretty good. We came we came in 12 and 2. You know, and how did you play? I think I played pretty good. I got my teammates involved. Uh, sir, how about Charlotte Latin? We played pretty good. We came in first in the conference and then we had a conference tournament at the end which we won. Since sincere, I know that uh, I know you had a big season because I had people telling me about you, telling me all about you all season. But how did Quell Hollow do? Uh, we did pretty good. We came second in the conference. We went eleven and three. Jordan, you tell me about Latin as well. Uh, we did good. We won the tournament. Uh, Bishop, tell me about uh, Carmel. Uh, we went fourteen and zero and got third place. I mean, nobody was close to you, were they? No. Jasim, how were they? You now, I might be wrong, but I might be right. You played on up on the varsity team, right? Yeah. Because you're That's in a school it. that can do that. Uh, how did you fit in with those older guys? Good. Um, I was the leading scorer and leading assist in the whole year. We can't. We can We lost in the elite eight. So you get a good season. All right, guys, let's pretend for a minute that we know that we're going to play basketball this summer. So what were your plans going to be, or what are your plans for uh, summer basketball, Nicholas? Uh, it would just be to travel around the country playing with my team and in different states. Give your team a shout-out. Uh, team Charlotte. Uh, Langston? Uh, same thing, just traveling, doing me, just working hard. And you're playing with who? Team Charlotte. Uh, sir? Uh, traveling plan for Guard U and just getting ready for high school basketball next year. Guard U, is that the name of the team? Yes, sir. Stupid question. You have any forwards or centers on that team? Uh, we all can handle the ball pretty well. Is so. that the whole – that's the whole reason for that, just working on your ball handling and calling it Guard U? Yes, Sincere, sir. what 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 are your summer plans? Uh, just to travel and get better, just meet new people, uh, and I'm playing for Guard U. Okay. Uh, Jordan? Uh, same thing with Sir and Sincere. Oh, you're a guard you do, dude also. Okay. Yes, sir. Stop me for a minute because for some reason that's not a familiar – is that a brand-new type program or is it – Yeah. Uh, like since sixth grade. Yeah. Oh, we it's been around for a while. Now. Okay. Yeah. Man, I'm behind. Who's Who leads that program? Uh, Tyron McDaniels. McDaniels. Okay. Bishop, your plans? Um, to get better, travel with Team Hope. Hope? H O P E? Team Hope, yes. Okay. Jasim? Uh, would have played 16 U this year. Would have played up against older kids on the Under Armour circuit. Uh, playing with B Maze Elite. Okay. All right. So all of you guys are going to high school next year. Where are you going to be at, Nicholas? Uh, Providence Day. Providence Day going in over there. Langston? Uh, I don't know. I don't know at the moment. Okay. Sir and Jordan, you guys probably staying where you're at, aren't you? Uh, no, I'm going to my spark. 
Boy, you got a Mustang shirt on. I see that. You're going to leave your friend Jordan behind, huh? Yes, sir. Jordan, Charlotte Latin, I know for you, right? Yes, sir. And Bishop? Uh, Myers Park. Oh, man. Two teammates, huh? Yes. Just seem you're staying where you're at, right? Yes, sir. All right. Let's um, let's change the subject up a little bit. and Let's talk something fun. Um, so Nicholas, you and your guys win a basketball game. You're going to go out to eat and celebrate. Uh, where are you going to go to? Um, normally Fridays. Langston? Uh, probably, um, sticky fingers. Pretty good stuff right there, sir. Oh, no. Uh, maybe just someone with wings. I don't know exactly where. You're a wing guy? Yes, sir. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, Who's singing to us? <laughs> Whose little brother is that? Dang, that's mine. All right. <laughs> sir, or sincere? Uh, we usually go to one of our houses or probably somewhere with wings or burgers. Jordan? Yeah, like a sports bar, somewhere like that. Bishop? Um, if it was middle school, we normally go to CC's Pizza. And how many pieces of pizza do you eat? Uh, at least 10. Jasim? We might, we might have a cookout at a house. All right. Um, how many of you guys are dunking the basketball already? Me. Mm -hmm. I am. Me. A lot of you? Yeah, how yeah. many of you have dunked in a game? Me. Uh, Who is me? me. Jasim. Sincere says he is. Jasim says he is. Langston. Langston's dunking in a game. Who's the tallest one between all of y'all? Probably me. How tall are you? I'm uh, about 6'2". Okay. I'm 6'4". Oh, <laughs> uh, he got you. <laughs> um, any of you guys, I know you're so focused on basketball. Any of you guys play any other sport at your school? Baseball. Who's the baseball player? Jasim. Are you? Yeah. Good deal, man. That's my sport. That's uh, what my son plays. Um, that's the only one? No football players? I play football. Jordan does, right? Yes, sir. I play football. Who else? Bishop? Yeah, Bishop's a quarterback, right? Uh, yes, but in high school, I'm going to be a wide receiver. Gotcha. Going to a pretty good program as well. Um, tell me, and we'll go, we'll start with Nicholas. Who is the one person in your life that has, has helped you the most with basketball? Uh, it will have to be my dad. Langston? My dad. My so, dad. Oh, go ahead and finish, Langston. I'm sorry. My dad. Coach Ty and Coach Junior from Guard U. Uh, sir? Yeah, same thing. My dad, Coach Ty, Coach Junior, and uh, Randall Clark. I know Randall. Randall's a good guy. Sincere. My dad, Coach Ty, and Coach Junior. Jordan? Probably uh, Randall, Junior, and Ty. You know, uh, Bishop? Um, probably my mom. And Jasim? My mom, my dad, my trainers, and my coaches. You know, I want to tell all – you know, one of you brought it up about Randall, and it, it's just as good a time as any. Randall, I don't know if you realize – the way that he promotes a lot of you guys that he knows and works with. I don't know that anyone understands your age group and knows the kids as well as him. And uh, yeah. if, you're friend, me when younger. if you're friends with him, next time you see him, tell him thank you because <laughs> every single one of y'all he has talked to me about. And it's all been positive. So, so take a minute next time you see Randall or shoot him a text and say, Mr. Roke said that uh, some really nice things about you. And I just want to thank you for all you do for me. So, so make sure you do that. One more question. Obviously we are in a crazy situation. We can't go to school doing things uh, 
you know, we're, we're kind of stuck. What, uh, what has been the most difficult thing for you, Nicholas, as we go into week six of uh, being in this situation? Uh, probably not being able to go to the gym like I used to. Yeah. Langston? Yeah, same thing. I'll be not able to go to the gym. I'm still doing my push-ups, what I need to do to get stronger. Sir? Uh, probably not playing uh, AU this spring. That's probably tough. Yeah. Sincere? Um, just staying out of the gym and just definitely school. It's a different change of scenario. It is, isn't it? Jordan? Yeah, the gyms at school are closed and then nothing really much to – do with like gyms and stuff like that. Bishop? Um, probably AU and just traveling with my team, even like off the court, just hanging out. Are you missing all your buddies at Carmel every day? Yeah, and Team Hope. Justine, what are you missing the most? Uh, AAU and missing my last year in middle school. You know, it, it, it stinks, no doubt, what grade you're in, but can you guys imagine being a spring sport athlete playing two or three games and then the whole thing being blown up and being a senior and knowing that you're done. And, you know, if you're not playing in college, you're done. I mean, you feel for those guys, don't you? And girls. Yeah. It's just, it's just hard to imagine what they're going through for sure. Well, guys, it has been really neat to have you on here. Many of y'all are the future of Charlotte basketball. I can just think back to watching some of the people that we talk about right now and seeing how they were in, in, in eighth grade and, seeing what they become and um if you guys work hard enough boy you've got huge futures but you got to take care of your academics you got to take care of things off the court and just let everything come to you but i can promise you the better you do in the classroom the more opportunities you're going to have so uh take care of that and uh as you know we got to within one day of the awards event and had to uh put it on hold because the governor said no big meeting. So we're hoping to get that as soon as he opens up the gates for our event and get you guys honored and uh, share all these accolades with you. But I hope you have a great night and uh, thank y'all for joining me tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'll have this on Twitter soon, folks, everyone else. Thank y'all for tuning in. You have just watched the future of Charlotte basketball and uh, we'll get this all up for y'all. Have a great night.